Uh, it, there? it wasn't any glimpsers. Ari, gonna get glimpsed. There is a glimpse though. Unfortunately, oh, I mean, if he kept running down to the south, he would have been fine, but due to his pathing, he's gonna give up first blood, and the Vai Lama, well, the person you were potentially questioning on how he was gonna perform. So, you know, just blows the target up. Another glimpse. This time around, nothing really happens. The Vai Lama. Can they go on him, actually? Nice avalanche. Nice avalanche. Zim still wants to try and charge in the middle. The Lama will go down. Ari doesn't have Flame Break leveled up, of course, but Schofield? it might not matter in the end. With the Blood Grenade slow, he's going to be able to get in front of the Tiny. Bounty Rune gets yoinked as well as a second kill. Okay, so you get the first blood on the Vailama, but he uh, dies afterwards. It's still okay for him because he... Look, I don't know. They're stopping them from farming this Krieg wave. I don't know if it's <laughs> him being here like that. They are stopping them, but so point. is Faceless Void. Faceless Void also is alone. Lane, analog it. might get a solo kill onto him. BZM oh, oh, now might be able to turn around. Even KJ is going to try and TP in as well. So double supports are required to keep Analog alive. With the glimpse back, KJ is going to be able to get the kill. Yeah, and that's... Autumn, the Dalai Lama? <gasps> oh my god, can I get the crypt off? No, a couple of seconds still short, and they're able to catch him. Nice shoot as well. K1 had no uh, support inside his lane, so Whisper Seb. continuing to free farm. Seb, okay. BZM, another kill. Uh, another kill for... Stomp, stomp. Well. The first kill for BZM, right? Like, he gets that one, Schofield gets Seb. If you're tiny, you're happy with it. If you're BZM, you're even happier. You just died, you TP'd in, instantly got a kill. Uh, the lane, a pretty even state of affairs right now. A lot of things happened across the map, but... Whisper top lane. There is a Cottle TPing in, and there's a glimpse. So this should be the first kill on the beast. And it's a huge one. It is a very big rotation. Uh, whatever you can do to try and protect K1 and, and just slow down this Helm Dom. The more it's delayed is maybe an extra wave or two that he can play in the lane. Divide Lama bottom though. Again, we're seeing the pressure they're able to put on this Chen Luna. Incredibly strong against the Death Prophet by the looks of it. Divide Lama trying to juke through the trees, but I'll snuff him out. And meanwhile, Ari, Ari runs too deep into Heroic's territory. So with the protection of the jungle, He's Heroic, dead. they'll bring a couple members, KJ. It's gonna get Go away, beast. Go away from my rune. Top lane, K1 will be dive surely. Seb setting up. And they can even dive. with the time walk away, but the purge is going to be there. They will, without a doubt, dive. Nothing that OG this. has to worry about. It's still dead, yeah. And this is level 6 in Helm Dom getting delivered. That's a catapult timing as well. So a still alive two minutes after the spawn. So a good movement out of Seb. And yeah, this tower is gone. You cannot re-enter the lane. There's no TP on analog, so it's into a bat. Like, look, he's one of the best heroes, BZM. Just glimpsed. Maybe dead though. Look Maybe at the vessel. Dead, yeah. Oh, analog. Oh, this was about to expire. Can they get another charge? They will. Analog. Cast is there at the last second. Seb's TP is going to be cut short as well. Schofield was still holding the toss. So we'll be. Some more vessel charges for analog to work with. It's another kill. I Whispers like. nearby. Let's see what the beast master is going to be able to do. You still without a doubt will lose Seb. They're going to try and turn to deal with analog. Glimpse going to be able to send the beast master away. K1 even got though. the threat of the chronosphere. They're going to clump up and all right. K1 did not have a good lane, but he's still showcasing. He can get involved early on with the ultimates. Bro, just ban this keeper of the light if you're playing into heroic like what is this this man just soloed the whole fight of course he had some assistance by Schofield by the nice little, <laughs> nice little <Lucia's> snatch <laughs> can they go on oh? they don't have solar binds no way oh a little bit awkward with him getting out of the field still is it gonna matter oh my god they're just yeah they, they, he's He's just completely free here. Travels to the top lane. They caught someone. He's back here. They got yeah. Whisper. Another big kill. Slowing down that Helm of the Overlord. They will try and respond on Radiant. BZM's going to be able to get on top of Analog. Tomato through the portal. That is Kronos a soon. big target. Analog will go down. Chrono. Oh, it's going to be stopped short. 
Avalanche will actually be able to cover K1, but this is a defensive Chrono just to get the hell out. Zoning Chrono and he's away bot lane. They would have farm up. Looks like you need another use of the spells. Top lane, Whisper again. And KG is going to be careful about the summons. Tomato is actually going to come through the portal. No Eclipse for them to work with. Is Okay, Miss the Avalanche. I was going to say, is Tomato just dead? But he's fine. Is, is he? he? Even. Mm hmm. What do they see? Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd like to see them force. I was going to say, they do see Chen. They're trying to smoke towards K1. They'd like a more valuable target. I guess you're going to be able to get the creeps at least. So that'd be a, a positive as well. And him as well. <laughs> and a god use. Yep. So I did want to say that K1 is really farmed on a faces void in a lane. Okay, they, they uh, shut him down a bit in the CS, and then uh, he got a couple of kills. But overall, Roar is good throughout the game against him. It's not only the, the mid lane lasso, Blink. It's a big oh, kill no. if they're going to be able to get Analog. Eclipse yeah, but... on Tomato is not going to be able to enter the fight, but the Avalanche actually covers the escape from Analog, and now Divine Llama is going to TP in as well. K1 should be able to bring down BZM. Divine Llama on the low ground. And now as well, Divine Llama, no hesitation, just charging to the river. K1's going to be able to protect him. It's a little too late with the corona, but it's still good. Bash. Connects onto two. Has he got the damage or K1? Tickling, Whisper, he'll turn to Tomato instead, who is completely alone, isolated for the team. Lips. Tomato had no one to play with. Now they're going to glimpse back Whisper as well with a Spoo Vessel out. He was tanky beforehand against the solo faceless void, but this will not be the case when there are multiple heroes on top of him. Ari, there's a glimpse in two seconds, he should be fine. Yeah, a pretty convincing win there by Heroi. Really won them the whole fight. Top lane there, coming through the portal though. Ari lasted up in a couple of seconds, probably not going to need it for KJ. Yeah, they definitely won't. Is this Roche? They're really good at taking Roche, like they have this Luna Chen Beast, so they can take it whenever, but it's too early. Like. Do you think you need a defensive item this game? Let's see, Open. Lasso. Let's go field. K1's gonna tip him, but no Chrono. Is this a fight they really want to take? I guess BZM's gonna be in a lot of trouble. Freshly Enter. completed Eternal Shroud, but... It just does not matter in the end. Analog and Co will shred him apart. AJ's hunting for a plus one. He's going to be able to get the glimpse onto Ari. Just out of range. Yes, just out of range. Yep. Static Storm. Kind of wasted. Maybe you can think about fighting now. You have DD on Luna. Look into Chrono. K1, so it's going to pop. K1 doesn't react. I guess he's got the avalanche to be able to cover the pulverize. Yeah, these, <laughs> these initiations oh, from is going to be there, though. So Schofield will be dragged back. And yeah, K1's just going to try and reposition over to the left side. You do have analog cutting mid as well. So there's going to be no creeps to work with. They'll look for bottom instead. Tom ah, unfortunate. The Ari gets it. Oh, they're coming. Wait, everyone, they just TP'd away. Two heroes just TP'd away. Tomato? And Tomato's Sir? just going to run straight into them. Eclipse is going to be used straight away. But look dead. how fast he dies. And now they didn't need the Chronosphere on the first life. Whisper's still sticking out, but he probably has to run with the roar. You don't even need there. it. <laughs> Where did he go? <laughs> what happened this... to that Luna? So that some people are going to TP away, because that timing of the smoke was great. It was, yeah, it was amazing. A BZM? Mm. Another one. Oh, the blast missed. Is it going to matter, though? Oh, how many more? They've still got another vessel charge. Radiant is starting to Chrono. converge to the area. Oh, he tried to go through statics, through uh, kinetic field. Ain't going to work. Unfortunately for BZM. Try and pulverize K1 into the ground, but it looks like it's another kill where they will not need the Chronosphere and... This Aegis advantage for OGs completely shut down. Now the Helm of the Overlord creep has been uh, burned away as well. They're tipping into They're... Keeper of the Light. Tra traveled in. Unfortunately, he didn't go to the other wave. And he's... Yeah, he's gone. So, BZM, I mean, seven deaths and... A further delay, it's also going to be a kill where they will not need the BKB. Nice. Does he have his own Lincolns? Okay, he's got his own Lincolns, so... 
Double Lincoln's now online. Top lane. And they're, they're starting to TP top as well. If the vision is there, that he could get glimpsed. Oh, Seb, he's sticking around. He's glimpsed. He's the vision got. is there. Ah, uh, KJ might die to the summons. No, KJ, get him away. Someone will is still kill alive. Whisper's by gonna way. try and come in. Looks like, unfortunately, he will not continue to live with K1 and Analog sweeping over. Yeah, but it's uh, uh, not even about to be Lincoln's. You're you're gonna have double Lotus Orb by the looks of it. Like the disruptor is on his way towards it. Ari. Scriptfield's not a bad jump. It is a lot of the control. Analog. Oh, Analog, though. Lincoln's going to be able to protect him against the lasso. And now with the initiation completely gone, K1 with a backstab as well. He can look for more. Tomato's going to group on Seb. K1's actually going to try and time walk away. He's got to protect the back. Because it does get assassinated from BZM. I still think they can fight One. this, right? Oh, oh the Chrono. Oh, oh, maybe they want to go in. He wanted to back up, but no, he's got the reinforcements there. And with the static storm, lay it down on top of the Chronosphere. Tomato at least can pop the BKP, but it doesn't matter. They've got too much crap on the ground to be able to tank up the Eclipse. And now Glimpse is up in a couple seconds as well. BZM's going to be dragged back further inside the lane, away from the safety of his base. As OG five men wiped, right? Yeah, another glimpse. Yep. Okay, he's gone. Another good fight for Heroic. Heroic, 3.2k versus 2.8k. Of course, a lot more armor on the DP. Octarine gives so much health. 625. Mm -hmm. No, he's got eggs on top of that, right? Like he... Ari. Miss you, Ari. Hmm... Seb top call is maybe gonna hunt him. Yep. Yeah. He is indeed hunted. Tomato's gonna show himself for a second. I just can't play on the map. Very easy with the recall. It runs here in a split set. Kids. <laughs> Come on. We don't have enough heroes that piss everyone off. Oh, I think shut up. Yes, we do. K1? Chrono. Chrono's got a clip up to two, but the bat right just on the edge as well. This is mid lane, BZM as well. Has got to BKB, but doesn't have a TP to work with, so he will not be defending the base. The fortification as well for analog and the recall, by the way, on Schofield. Like this is. Oh. Oh no, oh no, oh no. A TP, sir. Uh, they have a glimpse. Sort of all the way to the high ground. Glimpse BKB. We'll look spy. So we'll last long enough. Lasso, so there's going to be no follow up. That's still two minutes on the ages. Okay, minute and 40. He's going in, jumping out. He's got Lincoln's, he's got Lotus. Seb is dead. Seb is gone. Uh, this is. Is yum. Might be dead. BKB on cooldown for 10. See so if they're going to be able to find some bashes. Glimpse back. BZM. Caught inside the kinetic field. Willowis combo. He is gone. Needed yeah. two seconds for the BKB. Um, I don't know why I said it so emotionally. He was going to die anyway, but. Yeah. They, they lose the mid lane. They will most likely lose bottom. This is, this is very much looking like a game. Uh, Chrono is back up. Game. Um, game it is. Yeah, it's just game. It has been game for a really long time. Traveling from one side to the other, bringing in, bringing in his allies as well. It was like the pocket tricky, you know? Like he TPs in and you instant pick up of the PL. <laughs> okay, let's see what he can do with this first smoke. So well, into... is... Yeah. Hello, guys. Welcome to our... Humble home. And oh, yeah, he tried. He tried grenade. from the high ground. We have got an avalanche. We do have an avalanche. Nicely done from Ari. Is it gonna but matter? This stuff has done. Oh, their own blood grenade. Wait, what's going on now? What's what's actually? <laughs> Dude, How they're far actually they losing this fight now. Well, they went from their own triangle to Dyer's jungle, and now KJ's on it. No one's dead yet. 
How is no one dead? Ari? Ari tries to get the toss. K1 suck at a high ground randomly from a flame break. Stun him. BZ Stun him is going to go down. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? What is this? <laughs> Oh man, this is some full Davai Dota right now. Imagine <laughs> if K1 got stunned on that high ground. Like this game, we can just kill him off. Bot lane, so far they are pressuring. And he's the lowest CS score at the moment on K1. So the PL isn't having a blast of a lane. And there's that level 3 from Whisper. And with the doppelganger on cooldown currently for K1, it's looking like it's going to be a kill. This lane is much better for, for bad than it used to be, of course. Like, he, he could have continued hitting him with it, but nice little TP from Seb. KJ again now? This dispose back into the Firefly is really proving to be a pretty big issue for the heroes in the lane. He's going to go for a TP out. And that will be stunned about half, st sorry, stopped about halfway, so... OG. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this mid bottom lane. lane. Oh, Alright, mid lane, we go again. Analog, another Same attempt. Thing. And it looks like this time, maybe, I mean, they got the illusion to take up a little bit of the ED, except we'll do it now as well. Nice right. little blocks. Yeah, yeah. Pretty cool lanes. Bot lane, K1, yeah, they, but to be, sorry, a gyro in. Like, when you look at it. He, he, no matter what you go for, I mean, they just stick together. SD. Mm -hmm. Looks like finally, oh, Ari's probably going to go down as well. So both supports this time much different. They just don't target the Dragonite. Go for everyone else instead. They're the easy kills and Analog has a haste now. Mm -hmm. Maybe go top with it? Or just One thing is Tomato is completely free farming top. Centaur is going to be fine uh, through the... F yeah, sorry. No, I don't know how worried I am about that, Seb. Body blocks are there. Is that Toss. mainly because you feel like the PL, like hard counters them all fling? Yep. That's it. Okay. That, it's about the matchup. It's about the matchup. That, that's, that's what worries me. I'm not sure like... Like uh, really, really, really active where it's kind of like... Hold that analog might... Yeah, they'll get R inside the river. So analog doesn't... I was going to say it doesn't have that There's much mana, mount. but... Whisper's actually going to be here. They're wanting to try and jump in onto KJ. Stampede's Stampede, going to be there though. to try and offer some assistance. Analog will continue to charge in. It's getting a bit messy now, though. Analog doesn't have the greatest resources. BZM as well is also going to swing over He's to the dead. river. And yeah, just took far too long. I, I, very hesitant or heroic. They wanted to go away, then they had to go in. Then we saw the rotations from OG being able to protect mm -hmm. them. and. Him time that he could have of course he didn't know but if he continued pushing maybe he could have done more it's going on tiny now it's just gone with the dd okay now you have a dd dragon hitting kj will try and drag the wave they're actually gonna actually tp schofield down as well to maybe in one minute what's going on analog Ooh, very deep okay. nice tp from tomato seb able to set up to offer that bit of a buffer timing so the tp would come through before he was able to run back to his high ground Centaur tipping bot. They want to go on BZM as well. They have the toss back into the stun. This Big kill. should be theirs, right? Yeah. Maybe Whisper as well. They've got the cooldown if it's required. And yeah, they're going to drop it. These are some gigantic killers. I mean, we were just praising the, the high net worth of BZM. And then Divide Llama. We were also saying like, you know, he's struggling a bit. Like this is a solo morphling you're playing into. You don't really... You know, you just have this... Stupid look on your face, like, why, why did I even do this? Ari, tossed back. Mm. These combos Scarf are so, looking so simple for them. Yeah, Scarfield's doing a bit too much for my like in this game. Just pushing mid, but... K1 top lane. Blink reveal's gonna be there from BZM. Can you kill him, though? Instant TP's in, and they're not gonna commit. Meanwhile, Divide Lama gets a triple stun! And now Schofield's in with a combo. Oh no, the blink reveal from BZM just doesn't go well. Ari is here, Whisper is here. Ari's gonna try and join the fray with the unleash used early on. It's not bad. It's How great. Does it go you from killed looking no one. Horrible <laughs> to just perfect and our tiny's gone too. What? You just lost four. Just gonna continue farming.
Good lane. Good lane, yeah, jump in. No last so yet. The response is gonna be there. Oh, there are still gonna be able to close the distance onto the Divide Llama. This fight is better. All right. I mean, I don't know what's going on. They started last fight, and then they're able to turn around with a quad kill this time. Yo, it just looks great for Heroic. Four heroes will die from OG, and it didn't really look that much different. I mean, Morphling wasn't there, I suppose. Maybe Lesh was was there as well with a high ground. Let, yeah, we'll it, hopefully it, get to take a look at that again. Something he is queued up currently, but he does have a smoke first on Heroic. Whisper seems like he has a pretty good idea this is going on. Pops a smoke. Chucks out a spell. Uh, Tomato well, was still here, though. Uh... Sorry. Obviously, he didn't get the idea that... Do as much. Uh, maybe he's not as annoying as K1, and he still needs Kanda to really have that oomph. Busy M. Nice blink. A little bit... So They're still going to go for him. I mean, this could be an okay fight for OG, but the toss actually sends him further away from Seb. Banishment's going to come through. Tomato with a jump. Oh, nice. nothing on to Analog, and they get the Lash. That is a lot of the damage. For Heroic. And another and one. now KJ. Uh, yep, they're going to be able to get him. I mean, it was a desperate chase for him to try and catch up with the Dragon Knight. Meanwhile, Whisper as well is hunting Divide Llama, who does not know this currently. He's going to be able to cancel the blink. We'll look for a TP out. You, and he'll make it. Uh, he, he moved back to allow for the rebound, but... That they've been able to do that. And if they can continue to do that as the game goes on, then... Might be able to find the success they're looking for. Whisper and Seb are going to be able to run into Schofield. Importantly, K1 gets out. Tomato is still showing around bottom, so they've got to be cautious. Of course, Tiny will go for free, but... Mm. I think it's it's okay. Like, you have another way of uh, joining the fights, going in deep. I'm not completely sold on it, though. BZM, oh, the mana yeah, is gone. gone. Oh, toss back into the double stun. Schofield. Oh, my lord. Ari needs to twin gate away as well. All right. I feel Alarm like Blink leading is... the charge. They're gonna run into. Oh, Whisper gets the jump away. They don't have all of Radiant though. Heroic taking a, a fight with a numbers disadvantage, and Dwylam is gonna be able to TP, TP out. Oh my lord, he actually <laughs> makes it out of the cliff. <laughs> Just taunts them a little bit while he's doing it. They do lose Cofield, and that was Heroic initiating, by the way. So, nicely done by OG. Okay. Timado. Oh, uh, they're <laughs> back. They, cause they were setting up top onto K1 because they had a lane ward to scout the PL there. So, you, you TP BZM and Seb. And... I don't know if they know they're this still going. The Divide Llama's moving out. Gonna be able to get the stun. Of course, the attribute shift is there. Tomato doesn't have more strength to, to morph into, though. He's kind of at peak at the moment. DD. There's a random DD inside the river as well. Let's see how uh, this is going to be able to turn the fight potentially. When he might just go down and, and lose it instantly. Yeah, that's going to be the case. But OG, they've been able to react in time. Let's see how BZM is going to be able to enter the fight. And if this is even something they want to take without the ages, BZM jumps over into the middle. R is going to fall as well. All targeting down KJ with the counter initiation. They're on to BZM with the Dragonite in some danger. Disruption. Stampede, heroic, all get into the middle, but they haven't killed anyone just yet. The damage is currently lacking. They'll chase down Seb. The Phantom Lance are proving to be a bit of an issue for the supports. Back over to the left side. Tomato. No one is dying. Completely untouched and heroic. Just don't kill anyone. PL is not at his peak. Schofield will assassinate Whisper onto the back line. Meanwhile, K1. I'm going to see a Dragonite left alone, but K1 is only tickling BZM. And meanwhile, Schofield still was killed off. And anyone else? I mean. This Marcy has a crit, by the way, going Daedalus. Like, no basher, <laughs> no messing around, just go full damage. Uh, uh, that's a Grandmaster play top right lane. there. She was... Should be able to get the kill. Yeah, they're pushing in mid, though, and bot with the illusions. She run Got the high ground the doppelganger. Right is back up. And the rest of the team are pretty close by to be able to react as well. Lincoln's, Lincoln's going to be able to protect K1. Whisper with the jump. They're going to try and blow up Analog and they will. He's gone. A quick and easy kill for them. Now Divide Llama as well under the Unleashed damage along with Tomato. OG, a great fight at the front of the base. They can now knock on the high ground. 
Mm -hmm. They have creeps. Actually, the Carty is saved, so he's gonna come back in. They have so many illusions with the Shadow Demon. K1? K1? Well, he might be dead as well. Look at the damage, man! Is this just game? Oh my god, OG Schofield's gone. It's a five man wipe, two team They're fights. Going what? Sin. Oh. Are we buying back? Are we, are we defending? We're done. Are we out? We're out. We're done. We're done. All right, we're done. 